Too bad on land they look pretty. Yeah. Hands hands HSA. Yep. Hanseatic Association or something. Aslan X Clacan. Cheers for the follow. What about the East Frisia? Ah, uh, go away. East Frisia is also in the same trade league. All of these three are now in the same trade league, which is uh, more than a little bit annoying. Austria is also being a jerk. I would like to kill you, but it's not going to happen. Disorder, corruption, very hard. Yeah. At least they're in Lubeck Trade League, not Genoan one. Genoan let Trade League would be better. For me. Like, way better for me. Because, well, most of them won't even be able to get there. Holy crap, I've actually got a Cardinal. Declining power of the nobility. They just got into power and it's already declining on them. Wow, these guys really must suck. A peasant cardinal? Yeah, uh, well, the church. Well, it doesn't matter, so. It's free sure it's not a part of the HRE, so screw you, Austria. So one attack, two attack, peace out, one, and core humiliate, whatever, from two. Friesland, Lubeck, the Lubeck Trade Group. I can't call him Brandenburg, which is what I want. But I need to fight every single one of them, which is a problem. Could just take on Denmark. Defender against Bavaria in the Bavarian Conquest of Salzburg. Alright then. I don't want a peasant pope. Get it done. Okay. Wasting my points. There you go. Oh, I've noticed uh, during a bit of testing to see some uh, little funny shenanigans and to answer a couple of Atlix's questions, um, I actually did some testing. You can't get papal influence as the pope, so the button's hidden. However, if you tag switch away, the button doesn't come back. It doesn't check for current tag, it just checks on load. So that probably saves a couple of processor cycles every now and again when you open it, but... Yeah, it's a little bit annoying. Because you can't... If you tag switch away, you can't invest points in cardinals. So in order to do the testing, I had to switch to one, invest in cardinals, switch to the pope, then excommunicate, then um, switch back, then kill my ruler, then try and um, remove all of that, but it's fine. No waste your points since you're probably going to switch to a fortnest anyway. I didn't realize that this province was that awful. I wonder why it's so bad when it's surrounded by st stuff that's so damn good. That doesn't make sense to me. Thirty-three isn't exactly what I need. But one five would be pretty good. What do you produce? Fish. Like it's worth it. It'll pay itself back eventually. Protestant is better than Reformed. Nowadays, yep. Cool. Cool. Truce with Saxony has ended. We'll probably get called into a war beside Brandenburg. Welcome, Q Tipson, to the Hydronic Empire. Alright, plus one sub. I think you're the tenth sub. Hurrah! Ah, won't be long until I'm a big name Twitch streamer with twelve stra subs. It'll be great. It'll be great. With the idea set and location, I go reform Danny Day. 
Flump's pretty good, but I'd be more impartial to other things. This idea said it'd be pretty good to stack further with um, 252, 470, okay, no, that. Probably be a good one to stack with um, quality ideas, because I've already got infantry combat ability, why not stack more? Alright, so it's good to see you've now got little kitty cat. 12 subs, come mad with power. Who created the emoticon? The wife did. Free farmers under a wonderful republican monarchy. <laughs> combat ability. Combat ability is strictly worse than um than what's it called? Than discipline. However, the sources that give you discipline will also have an option for um combat ability. So, what I mean by that is, if you take quality idea, the finisher is discipline. So, you end up with the infantry combat ability, and then that stacks with the discipline as well, once you filled the idea set out. If you're not interested in that... Sondar, cheers! Welcome to Hydronic Empire. All streamers refer to their wife as THE wife. Well, she is. She's my wife. And I'm happy with her. Very much. <laughs> Duck and Grill saluting a cat. All oh, hail the kitty cat. Why well, created a kitty being a murder? She should, uh, she should save some kitties if Emily ever gets into supping one day. <laughs> Duck and grill saluting cat. Yeah, I still only grab by uh, quality for the policy with economic. Oh, that is pretty good. The economic and uh, quality thing is an extra 5% discipline, if I remember correctly. Yeah, and it's, it's pretty good. Yeah, 5% extra discipline standards. I just capped out on mill points. Speaking of, just for fun, I'm going to go down my old route and I'm going to uh, grab my quality. Just because I'm a stick. I'm a stickler for it. I love it. Try plutocratic, economic, quality, defensive, as Dramatin and Protestants. Fun as hell. Sounds pretty good. I'm going to take this and I'm actually going to feel innovative and stack even more infantry combat ability. There's a reason nearly every single game in a multiplayer grabs defensive economic quality. Uh, I've not seen the quality. I've definitely seen the defensive economic and uh, defensive economic and offensive. However, that one gets a lot of play. Definitely will want that. To me, defensive and quality, yes. Economics, less. Economic ideas is a good one because you grab the land, you lower your inflation taken from the walls, and you improve the land as you're getting it. Admin is very important, but in a multiplayer environment, you're going to be restrained mostly by your neighbors. So, your neighbors are going to be slowing down your conquest, making admin less useful. The sheer fact that your enemy next to you may well completely come and curb stomp you means you've got to leave yourself in a position where you've got baggage. Well, not baggage, you've got a little bit of space. Don't own common sense. Well, these days it's one of the required ones. Crazy good thing about economic is the loans event. Yes, it is. And they've improved the loans event, event making it even better. Disagree. Admin is so strong since you can only take two I uh, only have to take two ideas. That's true, and a lot of the admin ideas are pretty solid anyway. Like, mercenary cost reduction, that's more useful than ever. Uh, the benefits for mercenaries will save a lot, and if you can get the extra inflation uh, interest per annum reduced, you can take a few more loans without crapping out, which is good. Economic, plutocratic, OP as Die Martin, policy and last idea, 666 ruler, whole game. Well, rip that idea. Core creation MP is kind of useless. Kinda. Like, it's nice to have the extra points and it does pay for itself, but... Then you're messing up Diplo. You shouldn't be in a position where your Diplo allows you to do that. If you are being allowed to do that, the players playing with you are harming themselves. Frankly, 
it's 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 really poor play for people if you can convince them to give you the land. If you can convince them to turn a blind eye to your expansion, you're bas they're basically a giving you a free reign. Which is very, very dangerous. Also, I just realized I'm paying my army. Fully. Why was I doing that? Best way is both. Mm hmm. Defense if your group, etc. But in mind, anyone going defensive admin is going to be the black sheep and everyone is going to jump on him, as you should. Like, a lot of those games you've got to either be on the ball and watching everyone around you and trying to kneecap those. Magdenburg. I'll come help. I bring a cannon. He used my cannon as I dropped in to bre uh, breach the walls. That's that's clever AI. That is very clever. Just for fun, I gotta do this. I really do. I'm gonna take the innovative ideas as well. Just cause it's fun. Taking defensive is common sense. Shouldn't make you a target. That's the thing. It's very powerful. Defensive economic quality are the most safe and best way to stay alive in an MP. Yep. Doesn't mean you're not going to be targeted. Taking admin makes you a target. That's what I meant. Cool. Thanks for the 24 favors. I'm going to go home and enjoy them. You can enjoy your rebels, I will not even worry. It might be worth it for me to drop Verdun and annex them. Because it'll let me get to Oldenburg as well. I'm going to need a replacement ally though. At least one. Oldenburg. Cute. Um, yeah. Espionage Maritime, 10 out of 10. No one will touch you. You are aristocratic, but some countries are just playing no brain. Oh, hell yeah. I'd wonder if a plus 15% morale would be the finisher, if defensive would be as popular as it is now. I don't think it would be, honestly. Because that early bit of morale is the key to the group. It allows you to expand really, really quickly. Your neighbors will get completely shot down by it. Even so, you take admin 4th or 5th. The general pips are also very good, but in the end, everything comes down to dice. Right, Mecklenburg Separatists, you and I, we're gonna tango. I don't have any sh uh, subjects. Should allow me to at least touch it. 12k. That's... Oh, that's going to be a problem. It's going to be a rather painful problem, actually. Wait, wait, wait. Augsburg. Ravensburg and others. Ulster, Desmond, Württemberg... Clan Richard, Ravensburg, Riga, Kildara, Lithuania, minus 35? Like, you've got a massive target on the back of your head. But, you know what? Let's radio. Let's do this. Do wish her morale, uh, morale would come last this defensive. That's actually a great idea. As do I. Shame what they did with religious, especially as humanism was already OP. I agree. A nerf to humanism was not needed. At all. 
Still take religious if I have a lot of heat and land. Nobody would take defensive anymore. Well, not nobody. That morale is still pretty good if you can stack with other things. Like, very much so. If you've already got morale coming from other sources, then you're definitely going to be looking at taking stuff like defensive, whether you want to or not. It's just too good. The 15% is so much morale. And the later on in the game it gets, the more important every bit of that morale is. Tradition's also really, really good. Like, seriously, defensive army tradition plus one as the start means you'll start rolling generals a bit better anyway, which is awesome. That's actually what I think offensive would probably do with. Hmm. 100 mil pound, a point sounds good to me. Infantry, cavalry, combat ability. Infantry and cavalry combat ability, plus the infantry combat ability. Beautiful. So we have resisted feudalism. Morale and cannon combat ability is hilariously OP. Yep. Uh, it used to be even worse when it was actually a 20% bonus, but they scaled that back. Sensible. Hmm. In a uh, single player, I tend not to pick uh, quality that much, but in MP, it's a must have sooner or later. Yeah, you need the extra damage because everyone else will be bringing extra damage to the table, and if you can't output as much as they can, you will lose. Uh, Veng, cheers for the follow. Reinforced speed allows you to fight back that fast. The reinforced is amazing as well. That's probably one of the strongest ones because that affects mercenaries as well. And that saves you mercenary reinforcement money, which is huge. I know this is off topic, but Emily asked whether you've read uh, Trump, Trump Bull tra uh, transcripts. Haven't read them, but I've uh, read the Cliff Notes. They're both children. Only country I saw not picking quality is the Papal States. Interesting. I wonder why. He, p he still picked it at Admin 18. Well, there you go. Infantry combat ability is definitely more powerful early game. If you've got a choice between infantry com uh, combat ability, 10%, and 5% discipline, the 5% discipline wins out. Just because 5% discipline goes for everything, including your cannons, which deal damage from the back row, and as such, they are much more useful. You wanna come give me a hand here? Well, you just got attacked. Wurzburg, Daimarten, Ber uh, Bohemia, Nuremberg, and Gallery. How are the numbers? Very similar. Heard a rumor there might be an option to get a game, uh, get gay marriage rights in Australia. Why isn't it already done? You want an honest answer? Because current government will do anything to stall it. Anything. At the moment, what they're trying to push through is called a plebiscite, which is a glorified opinion poll, non-binding. So even if we do, uh, even if the people select, hey, yeah, let's actually uh, give marriage equality. You don't get marriage equality, it still needs to go through the parliament, which is what they should be doing anyway, but they're not. They're doing what they can to deny it. It's not even really... It, it, the reasons behind it don't make sense. It just seems to be pure spite. Vatican Library and Swiss Guards extra manpower. Nice. Do you want to maybe connect to me? If I can swing you all around, that would be good. Come here, please! Where are you going? No, come to me, I can help you win this war. 
I need you alive and winning this war. Look, I'm gonna fix this up so you've got access through here. So use it. Alright, cool. Let's kill that. Things have probably some hydro, but it might hurt. Aussie government, they took our gun, then they'll take our past opinion. <sighs> Even Ireland put gay marriage to a vote, and you were intentionally pretty dicks to be a politician. Look, if I could get rid of the politicians, completely remove the ones that are there, I would. Because these current batch politicians are way more self serving than even the Australian public could believe. He's- the reason it's not going through at the moment is that the current Prime Minister is currently holding on to his position as Prime Minister of Australia by a couple of votes inside his internal party. Because in Australia, our parties have- uh, we ele elect um, people to vote essentially on a Prime Minister as a group. Where's the rest of you? Why am I not surprised that you will not come nearby? I'm trying to save your life here. It's okay, Hard. we've got the same in every corner of the world. But yeah, the current Prime Minister is only hanging on via a vote or two inside his own party. So, he needs to basically bend the knee to the Conservatives within the party in order to continue having the position as Prime Minister. Oh, you're a sob. I hate you so much. Uh, why bother saving Brandenburg? Because I don't want my land to be murdered. But from here, you're not even going to try and work with me here. I ain't going to work with you. Didn't UKPM just ally in ultra conservatives as well? Yep. So you get to see a lot of the same type of stuff there. Get on these guys. You lost your capital because you're an idiot. You just too broken up. I'm just gonna go chill out my capital. Emily scratched my mouth since you never asked my kangaroo marriage question. I missed the kangaroo marriage question. I'm sorry you're gonna have to ask that again. Oh, it might hurt. Yeah, I already read that. Republican tradition is low. Yeah, the the current government is literally in by essentially a seat. So if they lose the seat, they are done for. And there's many, many things that can happen that might cause them to lose a seat. I want to kill these guys for reasons. The reasons are not important anymore, thanks. But yeah, uh, we elect the... Uh, we select people into the seats and the seats themselves choose a Prime Minister. Um, that means that if we want to change Prime Ministers halfway through a term, we can. But in order to change the layout and who sits in the seats uh, and votes on the legislation, that has to go to the main vote. Which happens every four-ish years. Should be... it's actually three-ish years. They're pushing for four. But um, because of this... Four, five, most of the others are away. Ten, two, two, five, one. These rolls are pathetic. I'll hold, you wouldn't have, you would have bailed. Defensive planner for even less shock received. But yeah, uh, so uh, we've got the uh, seats and he's internally not got much support within his own party. He's known as the moderate. And the party at the moment is filled with a lot of hardline conservatives. So although 
this party is not the conservative party. It's got a lot of conservatives currently um, in the seats. So as such, in order to continue his prime ministership, he needs to pander to them. Because if one or two of them turns around and goes, oh, look, yeah, no, um, yeah, we're not going to, we would gladly um, run a spill motion against you. He will lose his position. As such, he doesn't. Which is not really a surprise, since he is very self-serving and has always been a populist. He'll always say what's important. He's also the same guy that broke the NBN, which is why this is a politics stream, because I'm pissed. Because the NBN should be freaking good, not a piece of crap network. It's meant to be something bringing us into the future, not into the past. Alright, so Brunswick declared war on Verdun. Verdun with your 1,000 men. Alright, sure. Did you even have allies? Cleves, Pomerania, and Saxony. Yes, but you probably shouldn't have. But yeah. It just makes me really sad. Where's my Centrelink money? Yeah, a lot of people seem to think that, but... All I want to see is this nation prosper. And all people to be well treated in it. Am I fighting in swamps at the moment? Nope. Get out of my swamp. I'm gonna go over here now. Don't want to be mean, but they are the best ignorant, worst xenophobic. Um, yeah, current ones are basically... Current Australian politicians are exactly that. They're basically pandering to the xenophobic base for their position. And it's despicable. You got away. What a bastard. Paris is Paris. A populist is using gay marriage? Sounds, uh, grandma doesn't have a trademark hand position. Maybe something like a triangle? Tesla Tetra? <laughs> of course it's creative. Who was, uh, who was... <clears throat> who was it that the devil who tried to charge a thousand a month for a crap fiber with data limit again? I'm not sure, but it sounds like something the current government would try. Cool! Back to back shock faces with zeros in them. I'm not dealing with your junk. It's yours. Bit of Republican tradition, just for fun. But people idolize Parada. Uh, Paris is uh, just a long and a cafe with trees. That would be so silly to live in. At least I start with a little bit of morale. So you're just gonna siege this now, huh? Not even gonna deal with your uh, friend over there? No? Okay. <coughs> Could just siege him. Please. Oh, that's a three star general, so going into Denmark isn't an option. I really wish someone would influence my nation. Wow, that's a pretty fancy outfit, too. But the immigrants co took to koala jobs. Uh, according to the current rabble, every immigrant takes a job out of a hardworking Australian. Or something. But that's clearly not how it goes. But 
don't have military access? Thanks. Goodbye. <laughs>